Order. I call this meeting to order. This is the Standing Committee on Natural Resources and Economic Development. I'm John White. I'm the MLA for Clay Spain Dominion and the chair of this committee. Today, we will not have uh, any presenters. We're holding an agenda setting meeting. Uh, I ask you to turn off your phones and put them on silent. And in case of emergency, we go to Granville Street Exit and go up to Grand Parade. I'll ask committee members to introduce themselves, starting on my left here with Dave Ritchie. Hi, Dave Ritzie, MLA for Toro Bible Hill, Millbrook, Salmon River. Hi, everyone. I'm Kent Smith. I'm the MLA for the Eastern Shore. Hi, Johnny McDonald, MLA for Hansi, sitting in for Trevor Boudreau. Hello, Chris Palmer, MLA for Kings West. Lisa Lachance, MLA for Halifax, Sable, Sable Island. Gary Burrell, Halifax, Shabucto. Carmen Kerr for Annapolis. Ronnie LeBlanc, MLA for Clare. Thank you. I'd also like to notice the presence of Chief Legislative Counsel Gordon Hebb on my right and Committee Clerk Tamara Nusebe on my left. So the agenda setting meeting. Uh, we'll open the agenda to the agenda setting meeting. Yes. Emily Leblanc. I'd like to make a motion before we uh, get to the selection of topics, if that's in order. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, make a motion. Okay. Um, Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion to add an additional topic for consideration to come before the committee as part of the Li Liberal Caucuses to approve topics. The topic would be Sustainable Marine en Energy Operations Review, and the wist w uh, witness would be Jason Heyman, CEO of St Sustainable Marine Energy Limited and Appropriate Staff. Just to be clear, is that an extra topic in addition to the six, or is that just uh, to, your list for you to, to choose? add to the list for consideration? Okay. Any discussion on the motion? Emily Palmer. Uh, thanks, Chair. So, we'll just I guess for cl clarification, um, the government caucus will be putting forward a, uh, a topic that will uh, have some of the probably the relevant people that uh, my friend across the table is recommending. So uh, I guess I'm not sure anyone else want to make a comment on that, if there's maybe a need for that, that second type of meeting about that. We'll, we'll have that potentially that person going to be here anyway, but. Emily Lebois. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I guess I, I bring the motion forward because it is a, an issue for uh, Claire, obviously. I've met with AF Terrio just recently, and uh, it is having a big impact on their business. So this specific witness, I think, would be, it would be important to have that wit witness come before the committee to try to understand what the challenges they are facing, and I think that's why I did. it was important to bring that motion forward. So. Um, I'll leave it at that. Billy Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Could we perhaps um, consider withdrawing that motion for now and maybe reconsidered at the end of the topic selection to see if the member is satisfied with the topic that the government caucus is going to put forward? I think Emily Lebois. Excuse me. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I'd rather deal with the motion immediately if it's in order. Emily Lachance. Um, I guess what I'm wondering is if uh, we could combine the two topics. It would seem to me if the proposal is that some of it would overlap, but there are some specific issues that uh, Emily LeBlanc wants to make sure are covered, can we not put those two topics together and ensure that the witnesses uh, satisfy both proposals? Emily LeBlanc, you're shaking your head, so I, I uh, think that means, yes? I was just, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I was just going to say, it's just to add the topic for consideration, so um, it's not actually voting on having that topic. Once we go through the, the topics, then we can see uh, when it gets to ours, if it's necessary or not. So if I understand the situation correctly, if, if his motion goes through it to put it on the list for consideration, we will be starting with the PC caucus for the topics first. At that point, you may not even need to choose it. So, so are we clear on that? 
Call for a vote on the motion. Oh, oh. oh, sorry, Emily McDonald. Not to be a stickler, but um, you need the motion seconded before we even had our discussions, I'm pretty sure. Do we just do the motions? There is no second required for this? In this committee for this? Okay. All right, I thought there was. All right, go ahead then. Any more question? So the motion is, <laughs> I'll allow you to read that again. All in favor of the motion, aye. signify aye. aye. Contra mine? Motion approved. Uh, so the agenda setting, start the PC caucus, I recognize Emily Palmer. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Um, Mr. Chair, our, their first topic, our first motion that we'd like to put forward on this side of the table is I move that the first topic for the PC caucus be safeguarding the future of tidal energy in Nova Scotia. It be scheduled at the earliest opportunity with representatives from the following organizations as witnesses. Sustainable Marine Energy, Force Nova Scotia, the Fundy Ocean Research Center for Energy, Marine Renewables Canada, and the Department of Fisheries and Oceans uh, Canada DFO. The motion is read. Any question, comments? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Contra right. Motion approved. I recognize Emily McDonald. Yeah. Chair, I move the second topic for the PC Caucus of no, uh, B Nova Scotia Film Industry with Chris Shore from the Department of Community, Cultures, Tourism and Heritage and a relevant representative from the Department of Economic Development as a witness. You heard the motion, comments, discussion? We'll call for the vote. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Contra mine? Motion approved. I recognize Emily Ritzy. Uh, I'd like to make a motion for our third and final topic, uh, supports uh, to rural economy. Uh, witnesses would be from the Department of Community, Culture, Tourism and Heritage, uh, Bill Greenlaw, and Department of Economic Development, uh, re they'd be relevant uh, representatives. Comments, questions? You've heard the motion, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Count your mind. Motion approved. And the Liberal Caucus. I recognize Emily LeBlanc. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd like to move our first topic to be status of the Atlantic Loop projects. Um, witnesses, Department of Natural Resources and Renewable, Renewables, Deputy Minister Karen Gation, Nova Scotia Power, CEO President Peter Gregg. Uh, Emily Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, we're okay with this topic. We requested it be put on the schedule for sometime in the fall, though. We're waiting on some federal conversations to be complete, and that would be relevant for the discussion. So we'll, we'll say yes if, if the, the clerk can schedule it for the fall. So a yes with to the fall. I see, Ronnie, I see, Emily LeBlanc, I see you're shaking your head yes. So we'll, no more comments, concerns? We'll call for the vote. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Contra mine? Motion approved. Uh, Emily LeBlanc. So I'll move that the second topic for consideration is uh, Coastal Pro Protection Act implementation. The witnesses would be Department of Natural Resources and Renewables, uh, Deputy Minister Karen Gation, Department of Environment and Climate Change, Deputy Minister Laura McKecker. Uh, Emily Smith. <clears throat> Again, we're okay. We just need to amend the witnesses, please, um, 
Deputy Gation has nothing to do with this. It's not in her pur purview whatsoever. So we will say yes once you remove Deputy Gation as a witness. MLA Kerr? Yeah. I have MLA Smith clarify how the deputy has nothing to do with this topic. MLA Smith. Certainly. This file falls completely under environment and climate change. Emily Kerr? My understanding was there's certain aspects of this act that fall under uh, deputation. Um, but we're fine with that proposed change. Is there, sorry, but I would, I would ask MLA Smith, is there a representative you want in place of, or you're suggesting in place of the DM or anyone from that department? No. No, I see MLA Smith shaking his head no. So it would be the motion with the removal of one witness. So we'll call for the vote. Uh, as amended. For the vote as amended. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Contra mine. Motion approved. I recognize Emily LaChance. Thank you. Um, we would like to move the following topic. Nova Scotia Power's transition to renewables and progress meeting climate goals. And in terms of witnesses, uh, we are proposing uh, Deputy Minister Gation from uh, Natural Resources and Renewables, Deputy Minister McEachran from Environment and Climate Change, um, Peter Gregg, the CEO and President of Nova Scotia Power, and other reps if, if uh, applicable, and the Executive Director of the Ecology Action Centre, Maggie Burns. Comments, questions, concerns? We'll call for the vote. Uh, all in favour signify by saying aye. Aye. Cut your mind. Motion approved. Recognize Emily Palmer. Thank you. Just just clarifying back to the original motion that I put forward for our first topic. Um, that topic did ask for the uh, that topic to be put forward early in the agenda of the next uh, round of topics. I think where it was brought up by both, uh, by members of uh, across the table as well as us, that topic, I think it's relevant that that topic be addressed urgently as possible with uh, you know, us trying to explore other energy alternatives. That's very important that that topic be done early. Thank you. Clerk is recognizing that he will do his best. Now I recognize Emily Burrell. Thank you. Uh, I would like to bring a, a motion uh, f for a topic, and this motion uh, envisions a topic um, not in the three categories that we've had in front of us, a PC, Liberal, or NDP topic, but a, a cross-party or um, pan-party uh, topic, which would become part of the committee's business if the motion uh, were to carry. Um, so this, uh, this motion uh, it, it has to do with the subject of uh, paper excellence, Northern Pulp. Uh, I'll say in introducing it, just a, a, couple, a couple of words that uh, uh, our forests, of course, are a, a hugely valuable resource and the, uh, this government, as well as previous governments, have uh, committed to their protection, most uh, particularly recently uh, through the adoption of the uh, Leahy Report recommendations. We have seen through uh, Northern Pulp um, uh, some of the very difficult impacts that manage, mismanagement of this industry can have uh, on, uh, on environment, uh, on communities, and in the long term, as we see now, on rural economies. Um, so a recent investigation uh, internationally uh, has uh, shone new light uh, on the corporate structure of Northern Pulp uh, and on uh, uh, paper excellence, uh, which has been uh, quickly in a position of international corporate uh, uh, concentration uh, over the, the recent past. This has raised many questions about um, the parent company of Northern Pulp's association with foreign governments uh, and with other corporate entities that are um, prominently associated with very destructive forestry practices. 
So while the mill has, of course, closed, um, we're nevertheless in the position in Nova Scotia that the company owns 3% of the province's forests, is actively harvesting on Crown lands. And, and this is all being done in a context in which the company owes our uh, province millions of dollars. Uh, so the people of the province have questions, and uh, the, uh, this motion envisions that this question uh, has a cross-party uh, uh, legitimate call on the uh, attention uh, of this committee. Uh, so the motion is as follows. I move that, that, uh, that this committee approve the topic, paper excellence and government support of the forestry industry as an additional topic to those which have been decided upon to be heard by the committee. Emily Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank the member opposite for bringing this forward. Uh, unfortunately, we're not in a position to support this motion right now. There's, there's legal action underway right now, court proceedings not appropriate to discuss uh, at the present time. Um, Paper Excellence is also in the process of their Class II environmental assessment. Um, they've got a year to complete an environmental assessment, so we feel it's not appropriate to discuss at this time. Emily Burrell? Uh, no, I, I've, I think I've made the case for the motion. Okay. Any other questions, comments? So we'll call the motion to a vote. Uh, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Contra Nay. Chair votes no. Motion declined. So in our business we have correspondence from Deputy Minister Farmer responded to a request for information regarding an equity lens in the Department of Economic Development posed by one of our committee members. Uh, the response was forwarded to the committee. Is there any discussion on this response? Seeing none. So move on to our next discussion item was Nova Scotia Business Inc. is now Invest Nova Scotia. Michael Benchflower, the witness that was originally asked for, now works for Invest Nova Scotia under the same title. Would you would the committee like to keep Mr. Benchflower as a witness or would you like to invite a different representative from uh, Invest Nova Scotia? Fine. Keep Mr. Benchflower. So we'll, the committee agreed to keep Mr. Benchflower on the committee. And so the next uh, business meeting for us is May 23rd. Uh, the topic is challenges in the agriculture sector. And the witnesses are Department of Agriculture, Nova Scotia, Federation of Agriculture, and the Chicken Farmer Association of Nova Scotia. Everyone's good? Uh, this concludes the meeting for today. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>